and how did you find the transition to amateur boxing from kickboxing? It was really difficult at first because I was actually doing both. Like I started boxing when I was 10 and I was doing it both for like nearly three years. So like one week I'll be boxing in like a schoolboy final and then the following week I'll be boxing in like a European kickboxing title fight. So it was it was getting a bit in the way of each other and obviously I always wanted to be a, a boxer so I had to knock my old kickboxing on the head and concentrate on my boxing. Carl Frosch is obviously flying the flag at the top of the tree in the super midweights for British fights, but when you look at the division over the years, Nigel Benn, Steve Collins, Chris Eubank, more recently Joe Calzaghe and now Carl Frotch, that must help you as a fighter, the amount of publicity that division's generated. Yeah, definitely, and plus there's a few fighters in and around my way who they're trying to build as a new, you know, like a new Super 4, like as you say, Ben and Eubank. And in that era, uh, I love watching their fights back just for the entertainment value, you know, just for the hype behind it. It was fantastic for boxing. Hopefully we can bring that back, you know. I, uh, I'm willing to fight all comers, you know. As, as I, and I've got, I like to think that, you know, uh, I, I look at Nigel Benn and I just look at the size of his heart and, you know, his determination and his, you know, like his will to win. That That's someone that I want to be like, you know. I want to be as determined as he is. And that, you know, if that means taking taking fights that are dangerous, that's what I want to do. You know what I mean? In the future, I want to be a, a world champion, and I want to be the best I can be. And also, if you look at fighters that have gone out to the states and made a name recently, uh, Joe Calzaghe fighting Hopkins and Roy James Jr. and uh, Carl Froch for his knockout of Jermaine Taylor. Um, important for fighters to go out to the states at some stage. Yeah, definitely, especially British fighters, you know, it keeps the Americans uh, letting them know that we've we got good fighters over here too, you know, because sometimes they think they, they own it all. Um, you know, as you say, calzaghe has been out there and, and done it, and, and Hatton's been out there, and he's, he's won out there as well. Um, so, you know, America's, you know, where the best boxers are, to be honest about it. So you, if you want to be the best boxer, you need to box in America. You need to get out there and, you know, strike your stuff. I hope to, you know, in the near future, get out there and do some sparring and stuff like that. And so I feel I can learn so much out there of these, you know, good, experienced American fighters who, you know, some of them, are, some of their journeymen would be some of our, you know, our champions. So uh, that's where you need to be.